Okay, so hi guys, welcome back to my channel and we are back with another episode of Cry Baby Whims. I am very, very excited to go ahead and hop right in because remember in the last episode, Clary found out that she is pregnant, but she's currently not sure who the baby daddy is because she slept with two guys and they could potentially be the father of her child. So today we are hopefully gonna find out who the father actually is. Um, and there's probably gonna be some drama going down. So I'm very, very excited for today's episode. You guys are too. Go ahead and remember to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you are new and hit the notification bell. Um, and then you get notified every single time I upload, which means you never miss an episode of this series. I'm also gonna be starting a new series very, very soon as well. So I hope you guys are excited for that. But either way, stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Okay, so we are back in game. And if you guys remember in the last episode of Crabby Whims, uh, we left it off where Clary had just told her husband that she was pregnant. She just woohooed with uh, Noah as well. So the potential is that the baby is either Noah's or it is Milano's. Elodie has just invited us to go over her house, which is obviously her niece, AKA Noah's child. This is just getting really messed up, isn't it? Um, so we're gonna go over to there and basically make it look like we're actually gonna see Elodie, but really to go and talk to Noah and let him know that we found out last night that we're pregnant. And the potential is it could be his baby. So <laughs> um, just wanna let you know, you know, um, that we're having a baby. I don't know if it's yours or not, to be honest, but you know, thought you'd let you know. So uh, we'll come over and speak to Elodie. Uh, we're gonna ask her how, about how school went today. Actually, shouldn't she be at school? It's like 11.23. And apparently, uh, Clary's now in her first trimester and should schedule her first prenatal visit. Only one prenatal visit is needed per trimester. Um, yeah, that means that she needs to go and like, you know, have the pregnancy che checked up on and stuff. That kind of makes sense. But she is really excited for the new pregnancy. Sometimes Chris is overwhelmed with delight at the feeling of her baby growing within. She can't wait for it to be born. Oh, she's so excited. It's cute. I'll go over there and talk to Maddie. And um, I will ask her about her day. I'm not going to tell her that I'm pregnant yet because I feel like... If anybody should know first, it should be Noah, considering it's going to be his baby. So I can't be like, oh, hey, I'm pregnant, because then Noah's going to be like, what? Like, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> and it's going to be really suspicious. Uh, but Noah just walked past us. I'm going to quickly go and say hello to my sister, just so that it looks really natural. You know, we've come in only to talk to our sister. I swear, sis. Okay, now I need to find Noah. Where did he go? Noah, where did you go? Is he outside? Maybe. Oh, my God. Maybe he snuck out and he's like... um. Like you should come and like you should come and meet me. Maybe him like sneaking out here whilst we were just walking past him was like his sign of saying that we should probably, you know, get out of the house and go meet him. Okay, I'll grab Noah and then we will go. We can't really stay in Willow Creek, right? Because if we get caught in Willow Creek going out with Noah and one of our friends or somebody mentions it to Milano, it's gonna sound really suspicious. So I think it's just best if we just go somewhere completely different to like, or, you know, outside of their home area. So let's just go to the Newcrest Cafe. And that way I feel like we're, we're a little bit safer, you know, and at least we can like tell him details towels um i think we need to arrange for a paternity test as well obviously we don't want to go tell our husband um that it's not his child like well unless it is not his child and then we have to figure that out i don't know i don't know i think i'm gonna let you guys make that decision whether you want me to tell milano or not but for the minute yeah like we don't know if it's his or if it's not his so yeah you know i'm starving over here okay she got something she got a scone in the end or did she a croissant I think she stole somebody else's croissant. Never mind. Okay. Right. Okay. So Noah just arrived. He's just outside. So I am going to ask him if he wants to um, come and sit down with me and have a chat in the cafe. And super quick, I'm also just going to quickly text Milano. He just got home with a promotion. So that's super exciting because we can't really afford the house right now. So I'm just going to quickly text Milano. Just send him a nice little text and say, you know, we're going to be home soon. I'm just at my sister's seeing my niece um, and that I'll see him soon. And then I need to have this chat with Noah. Okay, right, I'm gonna ask him about his day. He's gonna come and sit with us, actually. Do you wanna sit down? I don't understand why Sims don't actually sit. Like, they always wanna, like, get back up. I need to ask him about his day. He's feeling super uncomfortable. I don't know if he needs to go to the toilet or something. Uh, I'm gonna ask him to hang out really quick and see if he, see if he like, wants to stay for a second. I hope your day's been going well because I'm just about to take a massive dump on it um, and give you some really bad news. <laughs> I'm gonna go and... Um, after I brightened up his day, I'm going to share the big news with him and let him know that last night I took a pregnancy test and I found out that I am pr 
pregnant. Okay, never trust the first reaction. It's always the second bit. Oh, he's excited. Is it? Why is he excited though? Does he realize that it could potentially be his? Does he realize that it could potentially be his? Let's uh, let's go in with uh, telling him that I actually don't know if he's the father or not. Now, I feel like this is a pretty obvious thing, right? Like he must know that I have been sleeping with Milano. Uh, he's my husband, but I want to tell Noah. Oh my God, is he crying? Oh no, oh my God, he's so angry. Oh no, he's so pissed. He won't even sit down. Oh, he won't even sit down. Oh my God, their relationship went down, I think. Only by, only by a little bit and she still wants to flirt with him. Um. Oh my God, she can like throw drink and stuff at him. This is so bad. Okay, no, I really need to, I really need to talk to you right now. Please stop walking away. Um. Unsurprisingly, admitting not knowing who the father, who the child's father is didn't go well. Yeah, you, you would have thought, wouldn't you? I had a feeling that he wasn't gonna take this too well. Oh my God, he's insulting us. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, you know what? I bet you should just gonna brush him off and be like, you know what, Noah? Whatever. Like you were involved in this situation just as much as I was, okay? You were involved just as much as I was. I'm not even interested. Go, leave, leave then, leave then. You clearly want nothing to do with this. But we need to figure out if this baby is yours or my husband's. And if it's not yours, then we can be done with this and we'll never talk ever. Okay, so we brushed him off and he's just standing there all sad while she's walking out to go to the toilet. And I think he's gonna go home. So that um, went pretty badly, to be honest. He started insulting us and basically like, berating us because we got pregnant. But it was just as hit, it was just as much him as it was Clary, right? Like they're both in the wrong at the end of the day. Like. It's, it's as bad on both of them. So I don't know why he's getting on his like high horse as if it, as if he's got the moral high ground. That, mm. All right, we're gonna have uh, Clary head home because I don't want to be too late because otherwise Milano is gonna get a little bit suspicious. So I'll um, I'll send her home um, and then we're gonna go talk to Milano. Milano is obviously super excited. He has no idea that the baby could potentially not be his. He's just so excited um, that they're having another baby. He wanted another baby for ages. You know, I feel like he, he wants like a lot of children for them. All right, let me come in. He's just sitting down and watching some TV. Um, I'm gonna come in and have a nice deep conversation with him. Maybe tell him what I spoke to, uh, you know, with Elodie that I um, was talking to Elodie earlier. And actually, um, Clary needs to go for her first prenatal exam as well. So I think I'm gonna send her off to that in a second. I wonder if Milano can go with her. Okay, healthcare, and then I wanna go to the OBGYN. And little Bellamy's come down to sit with his dad. That's cute. Why don't you read him a little story? I think he wanted to earlier. Oh my God, okay, never mind. He's having an absolute tantrum because it's cold. Oh God, our child was having a tantrum. Should we get him dressed then? Oh, we, should, we are reading him a story. Oh, that's cute. How deadly sweet is that? Oh, look at him. Okay, so it says, uh, baby and Clarissa both are looking great and just keep doing what she's doing. Nice, okay, so she's all healthy. Everything's good. How, what's Bellamy doing? He's going outside to go and make a mess. Okay, is somebody need to, gonna, gonna need to go and tell him off? Oh, look at that. Milano wants to volunteer with family. I swear to God, Milano is just such a cute dad, you know, like in a family man. He is really, really sweet. Like, I know you guys have said like his morals are not exactly what you would expect, but then also, you know, he does a lot for his family as well. So we need to clean up. Oh God, why is she crying? I hope it's over the movie and not the fact that Noah like completely dismissed her pregnancy announcement to him. I, the thing was, he was so excited when she announced the pregnancy. She was like, he was like, wow, that's so, that's so amazing. I don't think he realized that the baby is like potentially his. And um, it wasn't, it wasn't as good when he realized that. <laughs> Uh, Milano's already heading off to sleep. He's got work tomorrow again uh, in 10 hours. So we'll just let him sleep and we'll give little Bellamy a bath. I do want to try and complete um, uh, Clary's aspiration as well because with the Crybaby Women's Challenge, there's not specific goals, not like with other challenges where you've got to get specific skills up or certain aspirations done. It's not really like that. It's more so like a story that you follow. Um, so I really do want to try and complete her aspiration as well. So she needs to read to a child for a total of two hours. So we might try and read Bellamy to bed tonight as well. Okay, right, everybody's heading on off to bed and we will pick up in the morning. Oh my God, look at these guys snuggling. I swear to God, it's just the cutest thing ever when they cuddle. So we we do need to talk to Noah because we need him to do that paternity test actually so we can actually figure out if he is the dad. So I don't know whether we're gonna leave it tomorrow um, and try and talk to him tomorrow. I'm really not sure. Okay, uh, Milano is coming back in. I'll have him go use the toilet. Oh, 
I really quickly, for, I don't know how I managed to do this, but I forgot to buy lights in this whole house. I don't know how I managed it, but now the house is pitch black and we can't see anything upstairs. Um, so yeah, I should probably buy some lights, but I can only afford two, so that's about it. <laughs> uh, Milano does have work today, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got work in two hours. All right then, so when we're finished, oh my God, she already has level nine of the cooking skill. She is so good. I swear, I think it's because she cooks so much though. Oh no, is Milano not feeling very well? He's kind of sick. He has a fever. I hope he's not too sick. He's the only one earning money in this house. So he needs to make sure he's healthy so that we can actually pay for the bills and everything. Speaking of bills, actually, um, the mail turned up earlier, I'm pretty sure. And the bills were in it. And we currently can't afford to pay them. So we have a baby on the way that we also can't afford to pay for. So this is just an absolute nightmare, to be honest. It's just all going terribly. Oh, and now she's having a mood swing. She's feeling really sad. And now she's dwelling in her emotions. You know what? Maybe her dwelling in her emotions would make her, like, reach out to Noah about yesterday. And be like, look, okay, I, I get that maybe you're angry about the situation. But I really need to know who the dad is of the baby. You know, I need to know if it's my husband or if it's you. And then we can just, you know, we can just go from there. We'll, we'll work it out and we'll sort out whatever's the issue. Crying after she sent the text as well. And he never replied. He never replied. Great. What does that tell you? This is just not good. Maybe we're just going to have to turn up to his house and be like, look, I needed to go for that paternity test. <laughs> um, I wanted to take Clary into creator sim. Um, and I wanted to give her a new hair because now that she's a mama, um, because before, obviously, when we give her the hair, she wasn't, she wasn't a mama. So I do want to give her a new hair. And there was a specific one. I think that's her colored hair normally. Or is it like this brownie? We'll go for this one. Let's go for a little lighter look. Honestly, I quite like the light look on her. It looks really pretty. Let's go for a, a bit of a lighter look for her for that one. Um, and I'm going to change it to, the, to have this hair across all of them. So I think I'm going to wait until about nine o'clock. Um, which actually is just going to be in a second until I go over to my sister's house because I need to make sure that um, she's going to be at work so um, I can actually talk to Noah by himself. Okay, right. So Clary just got here. She's already gone up to the bed to go and cry in it. That's really awkward. Let's try and ask him about his day. He seems really annoyed. He seems super tense. I'm, well, I'm guessing if you just, if you, if you had a mistress, right, like that you were seeing outside of having your wife and you got her pregnant, I can imagine in your life you'd be quite stressed. You know, I could, I could appreciate that. I'm gonna have her go and complain about her problems to him. Her problems are gonna be like, look, I get it. We're, we're all really worried about, you know, whether you're the dad or whether Milano's the dad. But I think it's just best if you go and get a pregnancy, uh, a paternity test, pregnancy test. I think it's better if you just go get a paternity test, and then we can definitely be sure who's the dad is and then you know it won't matter if it's yours or if it's his and we'll just work it out from there you know if he's okay with that i just really need you to go and get this paternity test done okay um i need to know if the baby is yours or or my husband's so i'm gonna go and ask him to do a paternity test and we'll see if he agrees okay he got back do i get the results how does this work i really do not know do i have to like go over there and ask him for the results or is that he may had fathered Clarissa's child. It says that they're hot and cold and that she perceives them as really attractive. But it doesn't say anything about, like, the results for the paternity test. The only thing that I could think of is maybe that it didn't work, you know? Like, the paternity test didn't work and they didn't get the results back. I don't know. Wouldn't she have to go to do the paternity test? I thought Clary would have to go as well. Our only option is to go for the fact that um, there was no results there maybe he didn't go through with it or something like that so our only option is to wait until the baby's born or to come out clean to milano that the baby potentially is not his and get a paternity test through milano anyways uh freya was asking if i wanted to go over her house so i want to go over there i need to find out where she lives though oh there we go she lives over here and she has a cat what cat Mayor Whiskers. Oh, oh, she's a single mum. Oh, Freya. Oh my God, I should really, no wonder she's asking me to come over and like, she's probably asking for help, to be honest. Maybe we should explain the situation to Freya and be like, listen, I'm in a really bad pickle here and I'm gonna need some advice. <laughs> okay, Milano just got home from work and once again, uh, Clary is not home. I wonder if he's thinking like, where the hell does she go every day that I'm at work? Hi Freya. Um, listen, I've got some big news to tell you. I'm actually pregnant. 
Um, she's gonna be like, wow, congratulations to you and Milano. And then she's gonna be like, actually, I don't know if it is Milano. <laughs> How's Bellamy doing? He's fine. All right, let me um let me go in. I want to meet the babies. Um, baby number one is over here. I'm gonna go and give her a little bottle. This is uh what was her name? Uh, Chloe and Lawson are the names of her babies. This is little Lawson over here, and then this was little Chloe as well. So let me go and um let me go and give them both a little bottle to introduce myself to them. Freya, I can tell you're really struggling over here. Like, look, she is just going through it. And the cat's got fleas. And my kid's just ruining her kitchen. This is just a nightmare. Okay, can I tell him off? Freya, you've got your work cut out for you, babe. You see Oh my god, reveal deep secret. <gasps> she can go out. She can go in and reveal her deep secret to her. Oh my god. Okay, go and tell her. What's she gonna say? What what pickle have you got yourself in? I'm gonna go and ask her for some advice. What do you think I should do? Should I tell Milano or should I just wait until the baby's born and then do a paternity test secretly without telling Milano? You should definitely not tell Milano. <laughs> you should definitely just not tell Milano. Clarissa remembers when Freya listened to her problems and shared some thoughtful advice. That's good. Uh, sorry, she's still feeling sad from the pregnancy from like having a mood swing as well. We should probably uh, go off and go to some like birthing classes and things like that. Oh, and also I should tell Freya that I'm really sorry if I'm cranky today. Um, you know, being pregnant, you, you'd understand you're pregnant with twins, uh, you know, it makes me a little cranky. She's like, trust me, if there's anybody who understands, it's me. I have, I have a set of twins. I'm a single mum. Like, what more? <laughs> what more could make you cranky? I'm going to try and boost her confidence a little bit and be like, listen, you're doing a great job as a mum. If you ever need me to come over and, you know, take care of the babies, take one of them off your hands for a little while so, you, you know, you've got some time um, to just chill, then, you know, um, then just let me know. Okay. okay so we're going to go on home now because milano's home and i think he's gonna be hungry and i think we're gonna send them off to like a birthing class and get them ready because i think uh she's in a second trimester in two hours so in two hours time they can go to the gynecologist and find out what she is having so i'm really excited i want to find out if she's having a boy or a girl or potentially multiples which would be really exciting okay we just got home milano's feeling really sad oh he's in his feelings a little bit they're both i mean they're both feeling really sad this is just not great Oh, look at them. Why are they so cute? Why are you such a cheeser? He doesn't deserve this. And then I want to go and um, I want to enthuse about your children. I am so excited for this baby though. Even though, you know, pregnancies hit me hard. I am so, so excited for this baby. And then um, we should probably serve up some dinner. Oh, not get leftovers. Let's serve up some dinner. There we go. Right, so she's in her second trimester now and we should be able to visit a gynecologist. I'm going to bring Milano, of course, because Noah is not being very uh, cooperating in this. Not, it's not even a relationship in whatever the hell is going on here, but he's not being very cooperating, is he? Um, OK, we've we've got the scan and the scan results say that it's going to be one baby and most likely it will be a girl. <gasps> it's going to be a little baby girl. I'm so excited for a little little baby girl to join our um to join our family that's gonna be dead sweet <laughs> okay hi guys um uh, i'm picking up from where i left off i might look a little bit different because even up between recording the first part of this episode uh i had to go and stream so yeah if you want to check me out on twitch <laughs> the link is here little plug but um yeah i had to go and stream so uh that's why the that's why i look different i put on a jumper because i was a little bit colder anyway so i don't think i want her to have the baby in today's stream purely because i want to get your guys in uh i want to get you guys input whether you think clary uh should talk to milano about potentially the baby not being his uh which would basically mean coming clean about cheating on him or whether you guys think that we should just wait until the baby's born and continue to keep the baby a secret from milano for now um and then potentially either tell him later or not tell him at all we don't really know where we stand right now and i want to get you guys input before i you know do anything with that oh some of our stuff's grown of oh, the greenest of thumbs clarissa is flourishing as much as her crops of germinating plant friends she has decided that she likes gardening oh, that's good i mean i did want her to like gardening anyways so that kind of worked out and we get a little bit of extra money by doing the gardening as well. It's a little Bellamy has put himself off to bed. I'm going to go and tuck him in and give him a cute little kiss. Look at that. Oh my God, dying. Um, go and use the toilet. And how is Milano doing? He's just cleaning up and everything. See, Milano's actually cleaning and, you know, participating in this family. We love that for him. Actually, I wonder if the baby is Noah's, whether Noah will send us child support money. 
I actually wonder if that will happen. I wonder whether Car Clary could like claim child support from Noah like secretly without him knowing. I feel like I feel like she could, you know, like I've, well, without um without Milano knowing. I know, like I think as long as it goes into her bank account, I think she could keep it a bit secret, you know, like without him knowing. On the same side, what a joy to be in the company of one's partner when they share one's delight in a pregnancy and upcoming birth. Oh God, if only he knew. Um, he's got work in an hour. I'm gonna have him going to work today. If he does well enough today, he should come back with a promotion, which is the goal, to be honest. I'm gonna have him go and uh, clean out the fridge, get that nice and clean. And then I think uh, Clary is gonna be awake in a second as well. What about Bellamy? I swear to God, this kid just like forever sleeps and I don't have an issue with it because toddlers are a pain in the butt in this um, challenge. <laughs> what I did want to go ahead and do is actually check out Gen 2 because I think that whatever baby she ends up having that ends up being Noah's and hers baby, I think I want that baby to be Gen 2. I, I was just thinking maybe it's because it's going to be like the only baby that's like the odd one out. That's why I was thinking of using it as the uh, as the heir for Gen 2. So when she has this baby, depending on whose baby it is, um, because she will have it. If this baby isn't Noah's, she will have to have another baby with Noah. Or she will have to try for another baby with Noah at some point. So um, yeah, I, I kind of do hope this is Noah's baby because her relationship with Noah is... <laughs> It's all going downhill, you know? <laughs> she's still not asked the psychic about the other parent. Oh, she can now. Oh, she can. She is going to go say that she suspects that it is uh, Noah. I have a feeling that she suspects it's Noah. Maybe because she's worried that it's Noah, to be honest. Um, the psychic says, I see it all now. Yes. The sim you asked about is the one who fathered your child. Now Clarissa knows a little more and none of the perspective other parents uh, for her child know anything. This is a great advantage if any damage control is needed. <gasps> wow, okay. But it now says uh, in the little relationship panel that um, he, he may have fathered Clarissa's child. Okay, I see, but it's pretty much confirmed that it's Noah. Um, Clarissa cheated on Milano. Oh my god. Wait, actually, she finds Milano attracted. Does she find Noah more attracted than Milano? Oh, <gasps> she does as well. Oh my god. Okay, let's go and give Bellamy a nice little bath because he stinks. Perfect. And he's hungry. Um, you know what? I'll get him some food from downstairs and I'll bring it upstairs. If it, when I pull the food out like this, I feel like I'm in the 100 baby challenge again. It actually gives me like PTSD <laughs> from when I was in the playing with the 100 baby challenge. Is anybody else hoping that they're going to be fixing this terrible lag in the next few patches? Because this is like, it's just so strange. It just randomly lags and then it just randomly doesn't. It's just so confusing. I wonder if, um, I wonder if Clary, with the information that she has, can go to Milano to tell him, like, I've been to a psychic and I sus uh, and the psychic suspects that you were the one who fathered the baby. Uh, you were the one who fathered the child. Like, I'm wondering if um if she can go and do that um okay i just i'm just coming here to check if i can oh wow she can tell noah that he fathered the clary's baby or he can she can tell noah that he didn't father her child i think i want to end the episode off here because i really want your guys opinions on whether you think that i should tell him that he fathered Cl Clary's child, which would obviously be the truth because we found that out from the psychic. We're trusting what the psychic's saying. Or do we tell Noah that he didn't father the child? And then he goes on thinking that this child that we have is not his. I'm guessing when it pops out, if it's gonna be Noah's, it's gonna look more like Noah, probably like darker skin, like darker hair, less like Milano. I can imagine that all of their kids are gonna be blonde and then the specific kid that she's gonna have with uh, with Noah is gonna be like dark haired. But yeah, we will have to see. I want you guys opinion on what she's gonna go ahead and say. So please make sure you go ahead and leave those because mm, we have a bit more spice to uncover in the next episode. But I am gonna go ahead and end the episode off here. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you are new and I will speak to you all in the very next one. Um, yeah, I love you all. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time it is for you and I will speak to you all later. Bye guys.